Today, Nellie Elementary would like to recognize all of our January Leaders of the Month. We are so proud of these students and their outstanding leadership in the classroom, on the playground, in the lunchroom, and also always displaying the seven habits at Nolly School. Today, I will recognize each student in each grade and tell you a little something about them. Okay, starting off in kindergarten in Mrs. Parton's class, we have Kelsey Hopkins. Kelsey seeks first to understand. Mrs. Parton said, I am so proud of Kelsey. She was timid when kindergarten first started, but now she has opened up her big heart to all of us. Mrs. Parton said, I love watching her confidence grow. Also in Mrs. Parton's room is Kaiser Richardson, who is proactive. Mrs. Parton said, wow, I am beyond proud of Kaiser. He has grown in many ways this year. He wants to do good and he continues to work hard. Keep up your hard work, Kaiser. In Mrs. Craig's class, we have Jackson Bailey. For, um, who, oh, who is proactive and he sharpens the saw. Jackson wears a smile every day he enters the room. Jackson is kind to others in class and always looking for the next activity to do. He brings a spark to class by his engaging. engaging mindset. We also have his brother, Porter Bailey, who is proactive and sharpens the saw. P Porter comes into class smiling just like his brother, Jackson. Porter treats his peers kindly and has many friends. He works hard to learn his sight words and to do his best in class. Good job, Jackson and Porter. In Mrs. Rankin's class, we have Kinsley Hoffman. She be, she thinks win-win. Kinsley is a ray of sunshine. She is friendly to all and is always willing to pair up with any peer. She is an absolute pleasure in my class, Mrs. Rankin said. In, also in Mrs. Rankin's class, we have Stella Martin. She, she is proactive. Stella is a dictated worker. Dedicated. Dedicated worker and always put in her best work. She is a beginner reader and leads by example. Great job, kindergartners. We also have in Mrs. Zukowski's class, Hazel Mae Huggins, who demonstrates all of the seven habits. Mrs. Zukowski said, Hazel May is a true leader in our class. She is hardworking, kind, and helpful. Thank you for making our classroom a better place. Also in Mrs. Zukowski's room, we have Poppy Slutes, who is proactive and puts first things first. Poppy has made learning a priority. She comes in every day and gets right to work. Poppy's work quality is outstanding. Way to go, Poppy. Okay, moving on to first grade, we will start in Mrs. Rector's room with Corinne Brown. Corinne demonstrates all of the seven habits. Mrs. Rector said, Corinne is a leader in all areas. She works hard, achieves her goals, and is a friend to all. Way to go, Corinne. Also in Mrs. Rector's room, we have Alex Murdoch, who begins with the end in mind. Alex begins with the end in mind. He's working really hard to reach his time test goal of mastering 45 problems in one minute. Keep up the hard work, Alex. You are a leader. Okay, moving on. In, Miss, in Mrs. Beard's class, we have Calvin Morton, who begins with the end in mind. I nominated Calvin for being beginning with the end in mind. Calvin is always a hard worker, but recently I can really see him trying his best with his reading. When things get challenging, he works, work, he keeps working through and remembers to use strategies to help him. I am so proud of you, Calvin. Keep working towards those goals. We also have Cecilia Lemo who is proactive. I nominated Cecilia for being proactive. Cecilia is a natural leader by coming into the classroom and getting started right away on her morning work. She always makes sure to listen f to directions and always does her best work. Way to go, Cecilia. And then this is Bowser's class. We have Josiah Moore. He puts first things first. Josiah sets priorities it follows his schedule and makes a plan to complete all of his work before going to recess. Great job, Josiah. We also have Everly McCune. She, she does all the habits. 
Everly always puts forth her best effort and completes her assignments. She is a kind, caring, and helpful leader in our classroom this year. All right, and finally in Mrs. Fiesler's room, we have Blake Stroop who puts first things first. Blake has taken his job of learning at school and made it a priority with lots of enthusiasm. Way to go, Blake. We also have Renly Sedgwick who begins with the end in mind. Renly knew there was something she could get better at, so she set a goal, she made a plan, and she worked hard to achieve it. Way to begin with the end in mind, Renly. Okay, moving on to second grade, we'll start with Mrs. Truax's class, and we have Kenley Hughes, who is proactive, begins with the end in mind, and puts first things first. Kenley is a ray of sunshine. She is organized, disciplined, and responsible. Kenley is an important part of our classroom and contributes positively. Great job, Kenley. We also have Weston Yoakum, who is proactive and synergizes. Weston works well with others, always has a positive attitude, and does the right thing when no one is looking. Keep up the great work, Weston. In Mrs. Brandon's class, we have Colton Zimmer, um, who is proactive and puts first things first and synergizes. Um, Colton is a is a superstar. He makes proactive choices daily, synergizes with his classmates, puts first things first when he's learning, and does all of this each day with a smile. We also have Piper Dixon, who is proactive, puts things first, and synergizes. Piper is such a pleasant learner. I see her come into the room each day with a positive attitude, ready to learn and works well with everyone that makes her a proactive first things first synergizer. Thanks, Piper. All right. Good job, Mrs. Grandin students. In Mrs. Slimax class, we have Autumn Moore. Autumn synergizes. Autumn is a kind friend who works well with others in her class. We are so lucky to have her in room 116. Also in Mrs. Slyback's class, we have Clayton Kuzma. He is proactive. Clayton has worked hard in second grade to think before acting and take responsibility. I am so proud of the growth he has made. Great job. In Mrs. Van Dorsten's room, we have Damian Gass, who seeks first to understand. Damien is a great listener to his peers when learning in the classroom. Way to go, Damien. We also have Eva Anderson, who synergizes. Eva is a wonderful little girl with a huge heart. She is always kind and helpful with her classmates and works well with everyone. Way to go, Eva. Okay, moving on to third grade, we'll start with Mrs. Braley's class, Austin Carcione. Austin is proactive, begins with the end in mind, and puts first things first. Austin is a proactive learner with a good attitude. He set a goal to be more organized so he would remember his spelling homework, and he achieved that goal. He takes charge of his learning and works hard. Mrs. Braley said, I am very proud of you, Austin. Also in Mrs. Braley's room, we have Ella Bailey, who demonstrates all of the seven habits. Ella is, a, is very responsible. She comes in organized, prepared, and ready to do her best. One day, when I had a sub in my room, the sub said, Ella went above and beyond. Keep that can-do attitude, Ella, so you can accomplish all of your goals in life. Congratulations. In Mrs. Stassen's class, we have Cooper Adams, who seeks first to understand and synergizes. Cooper is a, a joy to have in our class. He is kind, helpful, and a good listener and works hard. We appreciate him always being kind to everyone. We also have Chance Morton, who seeks first to understand and synergizes. Chance brings a bright smile to room 110. He is not afraid to ask for help or to give help to others when needed. Chance is always happy and looking on the bright side and a we appreciate his positivity. Good job, Chance and Cooper. All right, in Mr. Straub's class. We have Seth Nelson. He is proactive. Seth has been working hard on being productive. He has he is willing to try new skills on his on his own before asking for help. He knows that 
by working hard on learning skills how he will make his work easier in the future. Yeah. We also have Trent Williams. He puts first things first. Trent has been working hard to take care of his responsibilities. How now so he has time to sharpen a saw later instead of dragging his feet and wasting this time. Way to go, Trent, and way to go, Seth. Also in third grade in Mrs. Esterly's room, we have Connor Wilson, who puts first things first. Connor is always thinking about what needs to be done in the best way to accomplish his goals. He has really grown this year. Great job, Connor. We also have Alexa Demroski, who synergizes. Alexa is our class problem solver. She is so caring and really works hard to keep the peace in the room. Thank you, Alexa, for working so hard in third grade. Congratulations, third graders. Also in third grade, um, Trent Williams was nominated again by Mrs. Millville. She said he is proactive. She said Trent is very caring about other people's health during cold and flu season. He sanitizes his area, he coughs in his elbow, uses the trash can for tissue, and sanitizers for his hands. When he's really coughing, he even asks for a mask sometimes. Trent is a true leader who cares about other people and other health. Trent is a leader. Congratulations, Trent Williams, on being nominated twice. Okay, moving on to fourth grade. Our first leader is Ace Smith, who was nominated by Mrs. Millville, and he puts first things first. She said, Ace has a positive attitude about learning. He comes into the classroom and immediately gets his things ready. He readily participates in class activities and works hard to apply the knowledge he has gained. What a great way to put first things first, Ace. In Mrs. Gardner's class, we have Lily Guy. Lily Guy. Who L begins with the end in mind. Lily is having a fantastic fourth grade year. She is kind to others, follows direction, and is doing an amazing job on Nolly News. Keep up the great work, Lily. We also have Evelyn Freeman, who puts first things first. Evelyn is a great, all-around great kid. Wait. Yep, she's responsible, dependable, dependable and hardworking are all words to describe Evelyn. She is a leader in room 120. Keep up the great work, Evelyn. Good job. And in Mrs. Tote's class, we have Nehemiah, Nehemiah Rankin. He puts first things first. Nehemiah gets right to work each day, always putting first things first. Also in Mrs. Toast's class, we have Callie Belcher. She is proactive. Callie is a proactive fourth grader, working hard to make sure she is ready for all classes. Way to go, Callie. Good job, Callie. Okay, moving on to Mrs. Oaks's room. She has three students she wanted to nominate, Leah Finley, Emily Lyons, and Liam Smith. All of these fourth graders were proactive when they were out sick. They asked for all their makeup work and returned it promptly when they came back healthy. They all willingly gave up recess to make up any missed quizzes and tests. Leah, Leah, Liam, and Emily are great role models in showing that school is important even when you are absent. I am very proud of their effort and behavior. Way to go. And in Mrs. Matson's class, we have Avery Evans who synergizes. Avery is such a kind, nice girl, and she is kind to all. She works well with others and is a good partner to have during class time. Way to go, Avery. I would like to give a special thank you to Cole Nugebauer and Calvin Kemp for helping us with the Leader of the Month video today. Congratulations to all of the Nolly Leaders of the Month. The entire staff here at Nolly is so proud of you. Please keep up the great work and your outstanding leadership. Way to go.